the version that we saw in the movie, <gasps> if they, like, in, saw the, like in, yeah. in the advanced screening, isn't the final cut. So what you saw, I may never see. Yeah. Great. Flash was freaking awesome. I loved it. I loved everything about it. It was like, it's probably one of the best movies I've seen this year. So basically what happens is that the Flash, It's I guess it takes place right after Justice League. He finds out that he can travel back into time. He goes back into time because he wants to like save his mom because his mom died. Like, you know, every every hero has like a backstory where okay. his father gets accused for murdering the mom. But wait, is this spoiler? No, no, this this is actual like common knowledge. Like this is Com- oh, this is common knowledge. This, that, that's, the Flash. that's 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 the Flash's origin. Okay, okay. If you watch a TV show, you you'll like that's basically his origin. Yeah. So the Flash's mom dies and. The father. Gets, How's his mom die? <clears throat> well, I don't know in the movie, but in the TV show, it's the reverse Flash that goes back into time and basically kills the mother. Wait, wait. So <clears throat> he, he kills his own mom. The Flash kills his own no, mom. No, there's like a like a bad guy version of the Flash. There's a like the Bizarro like Flash. Like a Bizarro Flash, but he's not a Bizarro. He's just like an evil Flash. There's an evil Flash that kills his mom. And like, and gone. is it just him from a different universe? No, he's he's actually from the future. There's actually two of them. So there's a mean Flash from the future that's killing his mom from the past. Yeah, he. he kind Why? Of, basically, the verse reverse Flash is from the future. He comes to um the present time because he blames like the Flash for like fucking up his life or something like that. Oh, so basically, so the 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 Flash fucked up evil Flash's life in the future or and something. it's like I want to kill your mom now yeah and basically he goes he goes and tries to kill like he he goes and kills the mom that's that's how, how it does is. he and, kill the mom with like uh, the, a candlestick in the library like what well the flash like like the main thing about the the reverse flash what he does is like reverse they, flash and the flash like they can like vibrate so fast like they can go through things oh, okay so so basically can they create orgasms on the way through their universe with their <laughs> with their vibrations like women are just like oh just like all right anyway yeah so <laughs> so he kills the mom and then what happens he kills the mom and then the father gets blamed and like framed for murder <gasps> really so like is, and, is this in the movie or in the comics this is in the movie and the oh comics. so that's this why, is common knowledge yeah but the thing is we don't know if it's the reverse life they, they never showed who killed the the mother in in the movie Oh, but, if you, watch but TV you know show, yeah. that the mother died from Bizarro Flash from the future. That's Reverse evil flash. because he's pissed off at the Flash for fucking up his wife. <laughs> Sounds like every relationship <laughs> I've ever heard of. But keep going, uh, Hump. So basically, like, um, you you seen Justice League, right? Yeah, not the Zack Snyder cut though. I know I need to see that. Well, Everything's I, fine. <laughs> and 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 the right. I Justice. hope. In the regular Justice League, if you remember, um, Flash, his father was in jail. And yeah. Yep, 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 yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, so he's already at the framed part. Like, that's what I don't want to happen. Like, worst case scenario, I don't want to be in jail wrongfully accused. I don't want to be in jail. I, I'm claustrophobic. So if I was behind bars, it wouldn't be the guys that would, like, try to you know, make me do favors on them that would scare me. It'd be like me being trapped. That would be more terrifying. <laughs> I would suck a dick to get out is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but anyway, so. Uh, what happens is he tells Batman, he's like, yo, I can undo what happened to my mother and like change everything. But Batman tells him, Ben Affleck Batman. Okay. Ben tells Affleck, him, not Tim Burton, but, or no. not uh, Michael Keaton. Yeah. Yeah. So basically he tells him like, hey, you know, if you do that, you know, you're not just changing time. You're you're like you know you're gonna like screw up the universe. Yeah, like it's it's just like, like what uh, butterfly, just thing. like what Peter Parker did in uh, far, far from Home or No Way Home or whatever, right? Yeah, kind of, I guess. Yeah, like 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 literally, Doctor Strange was like, "You're gonna, Peter, you're gonna ruin stuff." So basically, like he does it, he does it anyway, and Ben Affleck is still the the greatest fucking Batman of all time. Like in this movie, he's so fucking badass. Like. Mm-hmm. I know everyone loves Michael Keaton, and they're happy that Michael Keaton back. And he's and Michael. I Keaton, like George Clooney. <laughs> you're you're on your own there, but it's. Like, I love ER, <laughs> and I just feel like he did such a great job but, in ER. Anyway, uh, keep going. Don't get me wrong, Michael Keaton in this movie is amazing, but 
But Ben Affleck is he like he this, just yeah yeah. But the problem is, is this is the last Ben Affleck movie as Batman. Yeah, they could, they're they're recasting him. When he goes into the past, he has to go through this thing called the Speed Force. Okay. So when why is he, he going in the past? To change to save his mom. Oh, so his whole mission here is to reverse time mm -hmm. to save his mom. I love the stakes on that because like. Wouldn't we all want to do that if we had the power? Yeah, exactly. He tells he tells Batman the same thing. He's like, you know, I can save your parents too. <gasps> or Batman's like, listen, Barry, like things happen for a reason. Like bring, bringing her back, is that going to cure your pain, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's almost, that's a paradox in itself because now mom's alive again. And you know what happens when mom's alive again? She's like, Barry, take out the trash, <laughs> do your homework. Like, damn it, mom, I wish you were dead. And then he's like, well, you know, you, she was dead, you know, and you had to bring her back. So <laughs> he ends up bumping into his self, his 18 year old self. It's like back to the future. you know. So older him sees younger him. But Marty sees younger his kid. Yeah. That looks like him. Something like that. Yeah. They even make a joke about the back to the future. With oh, do they? Which is kind of. Funny. OK. Is that a spoiler? I mean, it's not really a spoiler, but uh -oh. it's kind of. It's, it's kind of have to put spoiler warning a little bit. Spoiler, in this. spoiler warning, but it's like it's just a joke in the movie. That's okay. Kinda, I, I mean, I don't, it's not spoiling anything, but because he causes a time paradox, everyone keeps the joke. Running joke is that they said that um, Eric Stoltz is the guy who, is Marty McFly in Back to the Future, and uh -huh. he's like, "What are you talking about? It's not Marty McFly. It's Michael J. Fox." So you know what that reminds me of? You, have, have you ever seen Last Action Hero? Yeah. Uh, do you remember when they're in the blockbuster? Yeah. And they walk by the Terminator? Yeah. It's played by Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> because Arnold obviously yeah, could yeah. not be playing that character. Yeah. I love those little nods. I find that to be a nice touch. Obviously, does it take you out of the movie? Not really, yeah. right? So they go on this, this adventure. Basically, they're trying to find out. They're trying to find Superman. They're trying to find. But like some of the superheroes don't exist in the world. Like Aquaman doesn't exist. But is that it's a not, spoiler? No, that's in the trailers. Oh, OK. So like Michael Keaton is like, you know, is the Batman of that. And what does he do to help them? Why do they need these guys to stop Zod? Because there's no superheroes in that world. Who the hell is Zod? The bad guy from Man of Steel. Oh, so Zod's like another bad guy on top of Bizarro fucking Dark Flash? Well, Dark Flash is like, he's kind of like the... He's, like, just, the, he's just the pissed off teenager. Is yeah, that what Dark he, Flash he's, is? He's actually the, the spoiler of the movie. Like, oh, dark, so yeah. don't talk about Dark yeah. Flash. Oh, he, so we already he, talked about Dark Flash. I mean, he like he's the reason why this all happens, but you don't know who it is. That's the oh, thing. well, that's a big spoiler. Yeah, so you don't know who Dark Flash is. Well, we can't talk about Dark Flash then. No, I mean, like... Dark Flash is already known. There's toys out of. Yeah, like, but but you said he's the big spoiler. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people know that. Well, now you spoil the movie for me. Did you spoil the movie no, for cause, me? Because because <laughs> people know that Dark Flash is in the movie. Okay. So then how is it a spoiler? No, who he is. Oh. Is a spoiler. Oh. No, oh. Like, nobody knows oh, who the Dark oh, Flash is. Oh, oh, so you don't see him. Yeah. You don't see him, and then we know what we find out. Dark Flash is George Clooney from <laughs> from Batman. You know that there's there's a funny thing about that though, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to All that right, later. Yeah, that's not even. So yeah. so basically, they find Batman, then they realize that you know they have to find Superman because Superman is the only one that can defeat Zod. Oh. So then they find out that there was a Kryptonian. Why do they have to kill? Why did they have to kill Zod again? Because just because man, no, because yeah, because Man of Steel, Zod was trying to. Just, like destroy the earth. Okay, he's still trying to destroy the earth. It's the same movie. It's the same. Oh, time period. it's the same time period. Yeah. So you're just kind of, it's like Back to the Future Two, where they're like yeah. replaying Man of Steel. Yeah. So like, but ah. there's no Superman to fight him. Yeah. So then Zosh is gonna take over the world. Yeah. In this universe. Yeah. So that's but not the whole world, just this universe and this world. Well, no. Yeah, this world. Like this, this universe's world. Yeah, this universe. Well, all the other universes are safe, right? Yeah. The only oh, fuck that universe. Who cares? Right. So basically, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, well, that one's doomed. But oh, when when he tries to get the powers, well, this this I guess this is kind of spoil, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I would mean, say don't spoil. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. But people haven't seen us in like it's coming out. Well, how when is this coming out? Uh, June 16th. I think. June 16th. All right. Give instead of 
tell in the rest of the story. What did you think it did well as a film? No, the whole movie is great. The whole movie is amazing. I I, I give it a nine point five. I nine like, point five. Yeah, like it it was like there's there hasn't been a movie like a superhero movie that's done like this before. Like th- this story was really original and. Like, um, this is the movie that kind of like reboots everything. Mm-hmm. So like th- if this is the direction that they're going to be going with, it's good. It's good because it's like this movie, like it kind of, it's not that it feels like a Marvel movie, but it's, it's not as dark tone that people kept complaining about. Well, yeah, this, you're going to love it because like at the end, there's a lot of cameras. Oh, oh, okay. And what's the runtime on this? It's like about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Perfect. And so it's enough for character development, enough for us to get invested, enough for the stakes to be real. And then I think Humphrey might have spoiled something there saying like, I'm going to love the end because there's a bunch of cameos. I don't know. I'm already feeling like that's a little bit of a spoiler. Is there all these end credit scenes and all that stuff too? Well, the thing is the, the version that we saw in the movie, if they, like, in, 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 like yeah. in the advanced screening, isn't the final cut. Like there, there's, oh, this is so not gonna be the, he's see, yeah. So what you saw, I may never see. Yeah, great. So I'll they, have to get might, the DVD. They might add stuff. They might change stuff. We don't know. We don't yeah. know. Um, would you see it again? Oh yeah, I'm gonna see it a couple. Okay, more because when you see it again, it's gonna be a different. It could be a different film. I'll go see it with you when it All comes right. out. We'll, we'll go, see it we'll again. Go see it together, and, and then, then we'll, we'll do a stream. This exactly. We'll see <laughs> it again. We'll come back here and we will stream this, guys. And then we'll do a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs>